All right, today I want to talk to you about how to supercharge Neuron Writer with ChatGPT4. So if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer, Neuron Writer is an SEO optimization tool. It's very much like Surfer SEO or Phrase or some of those other optimization tools that are out there right now. Uh, you can see on my screen, it is available on AppSumo right now with a lifetime deal. They recently re-released Neuron Writer back onto AppSumo with this lifetime deal. I will talk more about this later on. So let's just go ahead and get directly into this video. When you are using AppSumo, everything starts with a content query. So in this case, I created a content query and the title of it is how to create YouTube thumbnails that increase clicks. You can see for me to rank for this particular long tail keyword, how to, how to create YouTube thumbnails that increase clicks, um, you can see all the terms here in this right hand pane that I have to have in my article. As I add these terms to my blog post, this score will go from zero and get closer to this 73. So I wanna say something very quickly about the score that we're going to try to achieve. So notice that the highest of all selected competitors is a 73, but the top 10 have an average score of 47. So really what this means for you as you're putting together this blog post, while 73 is, is a goal, you don't have to keep optimizing or over-optimizing your blog post to go all the way up to a score of 73. Uh, really what you're trying to do is get close to it and definitely get above that 47 score. So the next thing that you want to do uh, is build your ChatGPT4 prompt. And the prompt needs to have all of these keywords that you need to place in your article to optimize it. Now, when you first start to write an article, you're going, wow, how do I fit or how do I get all of these into my content? Because even if you use an AI writer, for example, uh, and it writes an article, it isn't necessarily gonna have these keywords. So then you've gotta go through, figure out how to edit it to get all this stuff in, can be pretty time consuming. So here's what you need to do, go, to the very bottom of the pane and see where it says copy all visible terms to clipboard. You wanna click that. So now you've got all of those terms copied to a clipboard. Go into something like Google Docs or whatever word processing software that you have and then paste those in because you're going to need to put these in your chat GPT prompt. So here's something that I want to point out. This also captures the H1 header terms and the H2 header terms uh, that Neuron Writer suggests that you use in your post. So this is what I mean. So here, these are all the terms that need to be in the article. These are all the terms that they suggest that you put in your H1 and H2 headers. So this is what's happened is you've got all of those terms, H1, H2, basic text, basic text terms that need to be in the article and extended text terms. So make sure that you're only copying the basic and extended text terms when you create this prompt. So let's take a look at uh, ChatGPT. Again, notice I'm using the GPT-4 model. And one quick word of note on this, uh, you do have to have ChatGPT Plus to access the GPT-4 model. So it is a subscription, it is $20 a month. So it's something that you need to think about and determine whether it makes sense for your business. I find it to be so much more powerful than the free version of ChatGPT. I think it's worth it. And it even begins to make me wonder 
how many additional subscriptions do I really need to other AI writers? Um, you know, there's pros and cons around that, and I'm not going to go into it now. Um, but you might be able to um, replace an AI writer subscription with a ChatGPT Plus uh, subscription. So let's go ahead and take a look at this prompt. Now here's the prompt. Write a 2,000 word blog post titled How to Create YouTube Thumbnails that Increase Clicks with H2 headings for each section and use all of the following keywords. So what you're doing is you're going into your Google Docs, you're grabbing these keywords, and you're using them in this prompt. So once you've done that, you can see everything that's here I got out of Neuron Writer. So here's the article that it generated. It just created this whole article for me. You can see um, all the different sections that it com completed. Now, I want to point something out. This happens a lot in ChatGPT. I will say that uh, it works better in ChatGPT uh, 4 than it does in 3 or 3.5. So uh, when it stops writing the article, and it will, it'll never write a full 2,000 word article for you. Just keep going. Just say continue writing article. Put that in, and then it will continue writing the article. So notice here, up above, this is an important step for content creators who want to create custom thumbnails that attract clicks and, then I put continue writing article, and increase their CTR. So it just picked up right where it left off. Then it writes the rest of the article, it has a nice conclusion, so that's it. So this is what you're going to do, is you're going to take this article that it just wrote for you using the prompt that I illustrated above. And I'm going to put that prompt uh, in the description for this video. You go ahead and copy this. Go back to Neuron Writer. Notice we're, we're at a zero. We're going to take the article and we're going to drop it in. Boom. We went from zero to 60 just by putting this in. Now, what does make the score go up pretty quickly is, is this is an H1 header. Now, this, this is really a matter of how you like to write your articles when you're using WordPress or some content management system. Uh, some people will put H1 headers in. Some will simply just use the title uh, box that is available in WordPress. That's where they put that in, and they don't have an H1 header. So just because I never use H1s, I'm going to pull this out. We'll see how it affects the score. So it's a 48. You're, so you're thinking, wow, that, that really went down fast. But the one thing that we haven't put in is any meta content. So let's put in the title to this article. It's how to create YouTube thumbnails that increase clicks. So let's grab this, copy it, put it in as a meta title. I'm not going to worry about fixing it up and prettying it up. But notice once I put the meta title in, we're back up to 66. Now let's look at these competitor scores. The top 10, the top 10 in Google have an average of a 47 score. The top and then, and then the highest of all selected competitors is 73. You're at a 66. Put a meta description in here. Write something in here for your meta description. Go back to your article. Look at all, all of these different air, you know, are keywords that were used in the article using by using that prompt. It just saves you an immense amount of time doing it this way. Now, if you want to bump up that score even higher, go to your terms and header. Go to these H2 terms. Look at the H2 terms that uh, ChatGPT creates 
in ChatGPT4 in the article that it creates for you from the prompt, and then you can make some changes to those headers and even bump that score up a little bit more. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is the super prompt that's going to make sure that you're capturing all of these keywords for your blog posts that are going to optimize that post and get you to a content score that will either be uh, close to or higher than what the competition has in their particular blog posts. So again, I, I, I just caution you that when you're writing articles this way, when you're using ChatGPT4 or just ChatGPT in general, you want to fact check your articles. You do want to edit them and read them and make sure that they make sense, right? You just don't want to throw something out there. But, but in general, um, most of the stuff that it creates, especially in JetGPT4, is just really good, good uh, writing. And, I, you know, most people would, would be perfectly happy with that content, both you as the creator and the people that are going to be reading it on your blog. So now I want to just jump back over to AppSumo and I want to talk a little bit more about Neuron Writer. So again, this is the, the lifetime deal that just recently became available on App, AppSumo. And you can get started at $69. And what does that mean? What do you get for 69 bucks? So I'm going to scroll down through here. Sorry for all that scrolling. Um, you can buy a single code, a double code, or a multiple code. A single code will do 25 of those content analysis uh, queries per month. So remember, back in Neuron Writer, these, con these content queries, every one of these queries is what counts against this amount that you get per month. So you could, if you were careful about how you chose the queries, so basically every query that you put in, you're really going to write an article about, and you're just not testing queries out. You could write 25 articles, SEO-optimized articles a month, and you could use ChatGPT to write those articles or an AI writer. Now, Neuron Writer does have an AI writing tool as well. Uh, it is not really um, what I would consider to be best in class yet. They are making upgrades to it all the time. Uh, so will it replace your AI writer or will it re replace ChatGPT for article writing? No, but it does offer some help there. So you do get 15,000 AI credits. If you get a double code, you're just doubling the amount of uh, the content analysis queries you can do. So you could essentially write 50 articles, SEO-optimized articles per month. If you get a triple code, uh, that happens to be what I have. Um, you can also uh, write up to 75 articles. Con you can do 75 content analysis queries per month, which essentially could be a full 75 articles per month for your blog. Uh, with 45,000 AI credits. And in this case, uh, it does give you some plagiarism checker credits as well. Um, so that could be helpful for you if you don't have something for plagiarism checking. So that's about it. Uh, I hope that you found this particular tutorial to be useful. Uh, it is a big time saver for me. Uh, and again, this was done with uh, ChatGPT+. The article is written in the GPT-4 language model. Uh, I combine that with Neuron Writer, the SEO optimizer. Uh, and as you could see from the test that I did, you were able to quickly get a content score that would help you rank highly in Google. And so until next time, take care.